Okay, so we'll get started on creating part four for unit 4.2. Uh, this, this part is a pear-shaped cam. Uh, basically, when you create this part, it is comprised of two circles or partial arcs and two tangent lines uh, that, that form the exterior of the object. We'll go ahead and get started, as always, with a new sketch. And we'll go ahead and do a front XY plane sketch. And in order to start this object, what we're going to do is draw a circle. And we'll start the center point of that circle at the origin. So we'll get our green dot, lock it to the origin. Now the diameter of this circle is going to be 2.5 inches because the radius on the drawing is 1.5. Remember Inventor loves math so we can just as easily input 1.25 times 2 and it will do the math for us to get a two and a half inch diameter circle. Then as I said the top half of this object is comprised of just another circle. It happens to be a one inch diameter. I use my heads up display and input that one inch. Now, the two center points of the circles are aligned vertically above one another. So we'll come up here into our constraints panel and find the vertical constraint. And click on it, and then we will click on the center point of one circle and the center point of the other circle, and you will see the circle snap to become a vertical from one another. Now, the drawing shows us that the distance between centers on those two arcs is 1.75. So we right click general dimension and we can just click on the exterior of the circle. So when we click on the second circle it will dimension from center point to center point. We click to establish that dimension and establish it as 1.75. Okay. Now we need to draw the two tangent lines in to connect the exteriors of the two circles. So I'll come grab the line command. I like to draw the, the line. Uh, now I'm locking a coincidence constraint in at this point. You see it pop up on my heads up display there. And so I'll click to lock it to the edge and then I will come down here and move my mouse down the edge of the circle until I get the tangent constraint to pop up by my cursor. And I'll do the same thing on the other side and come down and get my tangent constraint. Now, the lines are not fully constrained at this point, and it needs two dimensions. We're not actually going to put a dimension on. If I zoom in here, you can see where that line is not tangent to the circle. So we'll come up here and we'll use the tangent constraint, geometric constraint from the constraints panel, and I will just click the line and then click the circle. Click the circle and the line. It does not matter the order I click them in. I click the line first, then the circle, and then on the second one I did the circle and then the line. It will still do the same thing. But we would like to get rid of the sections of the, the circles that are inside the object. So we'll come up here to the modify panel and we'll use the command called trim. Trim will come in here and as we click it will trim off the lines to each intersection. So I just start clicking and trimming out those sections of line until I end up with this exterior shape. So we'll go ahead and hit E for extrude and you'll see that the object is 0.125 inches thick. So I'll input that. The other thing that I want to do with my cams, and this will just help you out later in your Automato project, is to change the direction from one direction to symmetric. And what that will do is leave the origin XY plane dead in the center of your uh, cam. And that will help you out later down the road here. So we'll hit OK and finish that sketch. Now we need to put the hole, the square hole, in the center of the cam. So we'll do that by creating a new sketch on the front face. Now in this case, I have this point, the origin point, which if you remember correctly, is the center point of this uh, arc. 
that is where the center point of this rectangle should be. So instead of doing the normal two-point rectangle, we're going to click the drop-down box on the rectangle tool and we're going to do a two-point center rectangle. And the first click will be our center point. So we'll lock that to the origin and then we'll drag out and you notice how the object, the rectangle now, stays centered on the center point that we established. So I'll use my heads-up display to input my 0.125 by 0.125 and I have already created a fully constrained sketch at this point. If I get out of the command, the rectangle command, you'll see that my sketch is fully constrained at this point. E for extrude and finish my sketch. I will change my output type to a cut because I want to remove this material. And again, because I think that this is just good, solid CAD 3D modeling habits, we'll change this from a distance, instead of leaving it at a distance of 0.125, we will do a through all in order to cut all the way through the entire object. At that point, your cam and third part for 4.2 is complete. Thanks for watching.